what a false floor looks like. Literally rotting timbers. And a lot of stacked up depths. And a big void below you. This is gonna be one <coughs> epic descent from where we are to minus 150 meters about 400 feet over different rebelays and upsells. Let's do this. So really looking forward to this. straight away into a rather large stove. It's quite uh, cavernous this this mine is it? Yeah. Very sulfurous obviously <coughs> into the high mineral contents. We should see some copper colorings as well hopefully. Just a little Dead end. Sheets in the vein of oak? Yeah. What do you think of it so far, bro? I'm alright now, I'm here. I just need to cut the bed a bit. I'll walk up there. Carl, yeah. Carl is tired before he even got in. So there's got to be a way to get down here from higher up, I would imagine. So we're getting ready for the first traverse and the first pitch descent of about 10 meters. Is that right, Sam? Like that. Wow. Cool, cool, cool. A bit of a climb with some old timbers and backed up uh, collapse. It looks, uh, it looks to go up there, doesn't it? Obviously, we're going to do this uh, safely. It's going to be one descent of a total of about 150 meters, 400 feet, down to the bottom level, which uh, there's no way out. It's blind, so we're going to go all the way back up. So pretty cool, pretty cool adventure, really. Plenty of sails. Hey, Sam. Make sure those screw gates are up. <laughs> <laughs> right. so uh, we are standing, as you can see, it shining down. But you can see we're standing right here, guys, on a false floor. This is a real false floor, basically. Timbers and uh, a bed of deads over it. Hence, we've got to do this safely. There's a level going off there, a little level going off there, so plenty of potential for exploration here. Oh no, it's not one of them shitty nuts. It's a bit tight, a bit tight. It's a bit tighter, but it's alright. Off you go. See you at the bottom. Yeah.
Right. Your bottom. Okay. Sam has traversed the other. Do you, do you want to uh, get the over there? Get over there with um, the best is about to come down. You want me to go down there? You should clear all those samples to shut on this one too. Yeah. Wow. Take it nice and slow because that's broken you as well, yeah? Yeah. That's you quite a bit sad, that. So we're going down the next uh, level. We're standing right over fourth floor. I can see some fourth floor. Very precarious down there that has partly collapsed. Right. So. Let's do this. Right? When, uh, when I tell you, just pass me the... And, and this is what a false floor looks like, guys. It's literally rotting timbers and a lot of stacked up depths and a big void below you. So I'm going for it. come through an old false floor you can see the timber in right there that was supporting the old false floor whoa look up Sam when you get to the bottom okay Sam look right up Sam! There he comes. Yeah. Got it? Yeah. Right. When you get to the vertical, you've got to swing yourself in in place. Right. You've got to pull yourself in. So pull this rope. That's it. Oh, look, shine, shine the false floor though, you've got behind, on the, just on the side of you. Yeah, just shine it with your torch, if I can see. Yeah, so there's a clearly hanging false floor. That, this, this whole level would have been a whole false, a whole working floor across the vein, obviously, as we can see. I'm coming down. Yeah. Okay.
Or is that easy or is that easy? Not free gas. No, it's not. Or is that easy or is that easy, brother? Easy. Or is that easy or is that easy? Look at the colors of this sign. There it comes. There it comes, Gareth. Wow. Magic, man. Magic. Yes, yeah, buddy. My little shower at the end. Yeah. Nice and refreshing if you're hot. <laughs> if you're cold, can be a killer. So we're going up to this level oh, to set up the blue level. The blue level. Very enticing. Name? Let's get some light on the, on the situation. Oh wow, we're going to begin to see some copper colorings here. Some lovely oh, greens right. dripping down the wall. The green is uh, Asura, as, no, not Asura, Malachite, copper sulfate. Azurite. Azurite is blue, Malachite is green, oh, isn't it? Azurite is copper. Yeah, it is, it's a copper sulfur. Yeah. Wow. Wow, that's, it is so tempting, it's lovely. It's like a bluish, greenish tint. Yeah. I hope the camera light captures it, captures it the right color. I'm not. Wow, look at this. Yeah. Don't have to be. <laughs> That's going to be another non child friendly video. We've got car left, uh, right, and center swearing. Wow, yeah, it is. Look at this. So, this is a key, an old keyboard, would it? Yeah, it looks, it looks quite yeah. big to be a normal yeah, keyboard, but too small for an old keyboard kind of thing. Yeah, it's like, yeah. You should sell it probably. I'm sure he had a well, use. Well, look at though, isn't it? They usually be cut, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, no. Well, there's no bottom left in it. It's bottomless bucket. And we're coming to another pitch. So the last pitch we have done is about 35 meters, is that right? Yeah, it's about that, yeah. Are we going deeper in the mountain, guys? Yeah, 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 yeah. Next, uh, next fish to be rigged. You know, in fact, actually, we've got this is going to be the longest one, is it? Yeah, sure. You can see right in the distance the, the old false floors where they would have stood. All that's left now is the traverses. The temples traversing. I'll stick to the most beautiful knot there is. Well, you know, Money, yes. This is a most beautiful knot. It might be practical in many ways, I'm sure. <laughs> Next descent. Some beautiful blue painting here from the Azurite. The copper sulfides. This mine was mined for copper. There is. Shine your light up. Nice one. 
Cheers. There's obviously a level above us here. Yeah. Find it. That's a false floor there, isn't it? Oh, oh. We've got a false floor right over our heads, basically. Look up again. Yeah. That's it. There we go, Sam, on the next page. And here we have the beautiful stuff. Going up and up and up and up. Post floor up there. And that's Gareth. How was that? It's, it's awesome, awesome is it? A bit, but it tastes good. But that's the job. And there's Carl. Right, I'm gonna go next. Basically, I'm gonna show you guys what uh, Gareth is uh, standing on. We're gonna see what a false floor looks like. So that's Gareth. Carl's behind. What am I and, on? And this is what a false floor looks like, guys. It's literally rotting timbers and a lot of stacked up depths and a big void below you. Not to be trusted. There's Carlos. I stood on the false floor. I mean, it's surprising that some of these false floors are still in place standing, but they're not to be trusted because some of these have been in place for way over hundreds of years, 100 years, 100 years plus, very easy. So that's why we set the traverses to make it all safe. We're going to explore this level now, we might as well. Yeah. yeah. Not many people have been down here since this place closed. It doesn't give access to many people, this does it? No. Is it well it did? Nah, it's a problem. So we're going up this level at the base of the last page that we've done. <laughs> Wow. Quite shady loose. It's quite loose, this, is it? Yeah. Is that shit wrap, that? Mm, not the best. Mm. It's like the Derbyshire Toadstone that uh, disintegrates basically on touching it almost. Right. Yeah. Shaley. Right, you go through. 
Okay, yeah. So this is a big hole in the floor, it's so we're on top floor again. Yeah, definitely. We're definitely on false floor, look at that. Huh. Remember on the surface I showed you that level that was collapsed? Yeah. I reckon this is here. This is where it goes. All right. So you've got to be close to the surface, haven't you? There's a lot yes. of roofs. We are. And we're about the height, right height for that level. I, I tell you what, oh, yes. this is proper added kind of, you know, yeah. build. You know, this, this don't worry, it's proper added like. Yeah. So, I'd say we're not too bad and we thing. have roads, so God knows. Maybe an, a, quite an easy dig would take us out. Literally. Only a very accurate survey would tell you that. Don't want to step on there, definitely, do you? <laughs> oh. What do you think of false floor? Well, you one, stand in the middle of your one, room, one word for a false floor that is not extreme swearing. I don't know if I can explain it very well. A bitch. One word. One word for a false floor. One word. There is not swearing. Well, it can be smile swearing. Well, cost is smile swearing. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you're going to give us a word for a false floor. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Fuck. shit. <laughs> Basically, shit fuck. Shit fuck. I'm the, not, I'll be told I think that's because be the last it'll be the last two words that you say when you fall <laughs> through a false wall. <laughs> 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 shit, bro. Clay pipe. An old clay pipe. <laughs> this clay pipe has quite a lot of detail, like carvings on them. I know some clay pipes, they used to have the, in, the initials of the owners on them. I've seen clay pipes before with initials on them, at least. Maybe it wasn't the case for every clay pipe, but it's still there. I still got the soot from the tobacco they were smoking. It kind of brings the place back to life a bit, does it, when you think about it? The bands they were smoking, down here working, getting on with their lives, making a living. And then bang, it collapsed the <laughs> Yeah, and then bang, floor goes. Oh, Hey, hey, hey. 
How are you doing, boys? It's a nice uptail, Dad, man. Lie the water again, Gareth. Lie the water again. And it would have gone even deeper at one time. Across the floor that... Uh... I'll watch you go. <laughs> this is false, you realise? This is all false, yeah. Well, worst case scenario, you'll be swimming to you.
Hey, I can't, yeah, I can't believe you didn't do the last pitch. What, what was that all about? That's cold. <laughs> Couldn't be asked. <laughs> I just saw it, you know what, what it was? I ain't gonna lie, once I saw you go down and I looked over. Was it Tony the first one yeah, down? And I looked over and I thought, man, that's a big prosecco. <laughs> 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 it wasn't too bad though, was it? I was, I was gonna find that person. You were breathing out it's, of your arse. It, it's just because there's constantly And I thought, what? if no. Gaz, the pro at prosecuting it, <laughs> 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 if he's fucking that dead yet, yeah, then I'm gonna you, die. You know, the only thing that makes him pro is he goes up the pitches first. <laughs> I have noticed that. I, I, I've noticed that. Who's first? Yeah, okay. are you damn right. I was the one I saw you coming up. Yeah, waiting for you to get to the top. Yeah. And I was like, I'm gone. <laughs> and he was like, I'm gonna have a break. <laughs> and then I stood at the top, waiting at the top of the third pitch for a while. And I thought, Nah. And then I saw your light again in his outlet. I was like, Gaz, I'm gone. I can't be arsed. <laughs> when I was prosecuting off, the pitch getting wet and looking up, you like in the distance. Is the I was thinking. Yeah. Carl, Carl's got a, he's got a point here. I'm coming down. Damn right, man. Like, don't get me wrong. But, but I'm glad I've done it. I don't feel like mega exhausted. Like, no, I, I no, don't no, feel, you know. Not like, just like, like, 